Hi everyone, my name is Naz. I have an Etsy shop the name Sewing Panda Patterns, where I sell digital sewing patterns. I'll leave the link of this dress in the description box. You can purchase it from there. Here, I'm going to show you this dress sewing instructions step by step clearly. For this, we need shearing thread and pattern pieces. So let's start with making ties for the back neck keyhole opening. As you can see, it's in bias green line. Now fold it half in lengthwise and stitch it with 1cm seam allowance from the raw edges along the way. Now trim the excess fabric and turn it right side of the loop turner then press it. Repeat the same thing with other one. Next I'm going to stitch the bust dot. Fold the triangle mark from the midline, stitch it then press it. This is how it looks once you pressed it. Then coming to the back neck, attach the ties between the back neck and neck facing as you can see. attached the fusing to the neck facings then overlocked it. Next trim the curves and corners then give a understitch on the facing near the seam. This is how it looks. Now coming to the front, repeat the same thing as we have done with the back neck facing. Now join the shoulders with the right sides together as you can see. Then sandwich the front shoulder between back shoulder and back neck facing. Then stitch it and press it. Repeat the same thing with other shoulder. This technique is for getting neat finished look but you can just join the shoulders normally then overlock it.
Next, I'm going to stitch the side seams with the right sides together with a 1.25 cm seam allowance, then overlock it. Next, coming to the sleeve, stitch two rows with the largest stitch length between two notches at the sleeve cap for making gathers. Then stitch the sides with a 1.25 cm seam allowance, then overlock it. As you can see, I have stitched the sleeve sides and overlocked it. And also I have stitched two rows with a large stitch length at sleeve cap. Next I am going to do the sleeve hem by folding twice with half centimeter. As you can see there are 3 rows with 1 cm distance and 4 cm above from hem. I have already done one you can see. These notches are in the pattern so need not to worry. Now I am going to start stitching with a 3.5 cm stitch length but I suggest you to first try on waist fabric. Now make tight knots then trim the excess thread. Next pull the threads to make gathers. You'll get something like this. Now attach the sleeves to the bodies with the right sides together by matching notches, then stitch it and overlock it.
Now coming to the skirt, cut two pairs of pockets with mirror image. This skirt has two large rectangle pieces front and back. I have given all the measurements in the pattern. You can cut it directly rather than printing that long rectangle. Then attach the pockets to the skirt side seams with the right sides together from the notches with 1.5 cm seam allowance. Now I'm going to give understitch on the pockets near the seam. Repeat the same thing with the remaining 3 pieces. Next I am going to stitch 2 rows with a large stitch length to make gathers on waist. Next pull the thread to make gathers, make sure to match the body waist. Repeat the same thing with back. Now attach both front and back skirt pieces with the right sides together then stitch the side seams along the pockets with 1.5 cm seam allowance then overlock it. Here I am finishing the side seams with the pinking scissors. Next attach the skirts to the bodies then stitch it and overlock it.
Here I am finishing the hem by folding 1 cm first, then 2.5 cm, stitch it and press it. Lastly, remove the threads with the seam ripper. I hope you like the video and the pattern. Please provide your valuable feedback on my Etsy shop. See you with the next pattern. Till then, bye.